Hello everyone. So, I didn't film when we got into the shark cabin, I'm sorry. Um, you can see I'm sat in here now. Oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> thought I would just let you know how last night went because we went to the fright night and um I'm so out of breath because I've just been getting changed and cleaning up quickly while Jay's gone and put the stuff in the car so we can go have breakfast um but basically we checked in at three we'd spent the whole day literally going on roller coasters I think the first thing we did was swarm. We literally ran there when it opened. No one was there, no one turned up. Got the first ride, just myself and Jay, which was amazing because I've never ever been, never been on swarm. It was absolutely phenomenal. Rate that roller coaster 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite one now at Thought Park. Um, but we went on swarm and then we while we were on the roller coaster we started seeing the queue and i was like oh we got there on time so <clears throat> yeah that happened and then but we basically went on the swarm then we went on stealth i want to say and then nemesis inferno might have been the other way around um both amazing i convinced i actually had to drag jay away from stealth photo booth because I forgot how strong the G's are and needless to say that picture of me was absolutely awful and the most unflattering thing I've ever seen in my ma in in my entire life so yeah he wanted to get that photo really bad and I, I literally had to beg and plead him to not buy it because it was just I think my face kind of looked a bit like that you know yeah so it was not great but yeah so that was amazing um, and then we, we, uh, gosh, so we did Swarm, Stealth, Nemesis Inferno. Um, I think we had a little walk around and then we ended up doing Colossus. I know that we did that one. We did Colossus. That was good. Um, however, we did wait quite a while to do that. Oh, and in between that, we did Darren Brown's Ghost Train, which is one of my favourite rides. I love that. But Jay wasn't too fan. He likes a good old-fashioned Ghost Train, and because it was VR, I think that kind of put him off, which is fair enough. You know, he likes the old-fashioned style, and I like old-fashioned Ghost Trains too, but I'm also such a big fan of Darren Brown that I just love anything that he does. So, you know, fangirling. Um, and then... Ooh, I think Jay... I'm just telling the vlog about our experience. It's cold outside. Is it cold? Oh no. We've decided to leave our hoodies in the car because we want to get a hoodie because I've always wanted to get merchandise from Thor Park. So yeah, we're going to get some hoodies hopefully in the park and it sounds like it's very, very cold. Tell everyone what you thought about Thor Park. It's alright. Bright night. <clears throat> I was saying, what did we go on first? Did we go on Nemesis Inferno or Stealth? Uh, well, we, we went on the Swarm first. No, I've said about that. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember which one we did first. And then um, we... We did, we, did, we did Nemesis and then we did Stealth. Yeah, yeah. I was telling them about the picture. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um... So, and then we did Darren Brown's Ghost Train and then we did Colossus. But the problem with Colossus was that we ended up queuing for quite a while because the ride kept breaking down which was really fun um and they kept having to test it and and then the worst thing happened was when i got onto the front seat the <clears throat> the seat was wet and the woman made quite a big deal about it and then put the fear of god into me because i thought i was going to die on a roller coaster which was fabulous so i was freaking out she was trying to tell me that it's fine if if I want to ride, I'm okay. And all I was thinking was if I agree to this and I die, does that mean my mum can't sue them because I said I was fine riding on the roller coaster in that seat? But ended up being fine. I survived. Um, how did you like Colossus, Jay? Painful. Yeah, he yeah it because it pressed into the thighs, didn't it? Well, with the seat, it just like got pressure between my leg and my foot. Just hurt my ankles really um, yeah through the day i've just been getting a lot of pain from the ankle yeah i find with roller coasters they're really really fun but if you're either a bit curvy or a bit tall or a bit you know 
different in body shape and you're not like standard slim. <laughs> um, my issue was that my thighs are too big. So every time I went on a roller coaster, I always felt like my thighs were gonna just get chopped off by the seat, pretty much. Um, so then we did, yeah, we did Colossus and then we came and checked into the shark cabin, which was cool. Um, the only issue that I would say with these is that there is no gap between the bathroom and the wet room. So, uh, the bathroom wet room. So it means that when you have a shower, you might wanna put a towel literally like on the floor because otherwise you're gonna flood the cabin. Um, so yeah, we came to the shark cabin and then after I had a power doze of five minutes, I feel like, um, while Jay went to go get us some refill drinks, we did our makeup and Jay dressed as Joker and I dressed as Harley, which was fun. We got numerous people getting scared of our costumes, which is awesome. And I think I'll probably put a clip in here so you can see what we look like. Um, we had staff members think that we were actors, not just guests. Um, we freaked out the lady because we ended up going on the saw ride, which was the last thing that we did um, because the park was closing. And we freaked her out because it was just me and Jay coming up to the counter to see what our picture looked like while we were in makeup. It was the best picture that we took that night, so we bought it. Um, and she literally was like, are you guys, are you guys guests? Your guests, your guests. We were like, yes. She was like, oh, okay, I thought you were actors. You're gonna start shouting at me. So yeah, that was fun. Um, and then through the Fright Night, we basically did the three mazes that you have to pay for, which was slightly expensive because we didn't realize it had to pay for them. Uh, yeah, so that, but that was fun. That was worth it. Um, the first maze was... The Massacre. The Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, the Chainsaw Massacre. So, well, it's called, I think it's called Freak Creek Massacre. And that was really fun. I enjoyed that one. It takes a lot to scare me through these mazes because all I want to do is be the actor in the maze. So I just kind of enjoy the, yeah, I just did enjoy the experience, take a stroll through. I like looking at all the set that they've put into because um, a lot of the times the, uh, the effort that goes into these scare mazes in terms of set. I love looking at that. Um, so that was fun. The actors were amazing, all stayed in character. Um, I think Jay enjoyed it as well. Mm -hmm. He felt like powerful in his Joker costume, which was nice. Not all the way. <laughs> <coughs> I think it broke when it came to the, um, the trailer's maze. Yeah, yeah. And so they, they have different sections. <coughs> <laughs> so films. yeah so the trailers trailers <laughs> um that is the second maze that we went to we actually had to queue for that one which we didn't have to do for freak creek so i'm guessing that was either popular because it was a bit later people wanted to do it in the dark um and they basically made us queue you had no idea what you were really going into i got the gist that we were going into a cinema but i wasn't sure um and then yeah when you go in you basically experience different trailers from different horror movies mm -hmm. that were made up and it was all going well until there was a doll section <laughs> do you want to tell them about the doll section jay no. you sure no, I'm good. basically I used to have a fear of dolls, can I just say? And I was very proud of myself because I was actually hyped. Like I'm starting to try and turn my fears into things I love. So I was I was excited to see that. And can I just say, they looked amazing. Like set wise, the dolls looked incredible. It's the way they did them as well. It's legit a corridor and then you've got dolls either side. Yep, so you've got human life dolls, not just small dolls, human sized dolls and you don't know which one's real, basically. So I was walking through, and poor Jay was behind me, and um, needless to say, all I could hear was some screams <laughs> when one of them decided to reach out and touch him. Um, that was brilliant, that was great. So, and there was there was some really, really dark sections in there, actually, to be fair. Um, and, and then, yeah, by the end of the trailers, all hell breaks loose, basically. Um, but that was fun. And then the last, the last maze was Platform 15. And this was my favourite maze. This was, ah. this was so good. Like, hand on my heart. It was amazing. I think it's because Karma got me. I think oh, Karma got you, he said. Sad. Well, no, but it's, it, you know what? The thing is, these, these mazes are... They're meant to be scary. So the fact that it worked for Jay, I think, is an accomplishment. 
Yeah, but it's because it's in the woods as well. I'm not a big fan yeah. Of the 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 way they did the maze was amazing. It was so good. The actors were amazing. The set was amazing. The costumes were amazing. And the difference with this maze is you don't go in a group. You go in literally with who you came with. So it was just me and Jay walking through the longest horror maze based on ghosts and trains and 18th century. And a tangled child named Tim. And a mangled child named Timothy, which it was, the story was actually really heartbreaking. So whoever came up with that was, was a genius. Um, I, I, I kind of giggled at the start. I you. think. <laughs> I should have mangled child. I know, Jay actually <laughs> laughed, but I feel like it was nervous laughter. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that was awesome. And we ended up... Um, going through that and I was walking through, Jay was running through. It was brilliant. I, 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 was, <coughs> I think it was that woman yeah. dressed in black that legit got me is because I did not see her to like she was next to me in front of me. I'm like she was not there a second ago. But I think it's because of the fog Ooh. that kinda like blocked her up. Right. <laughs> yeah. So there was a woman in black that basically so if you've ever seen The Woman in Black or if you've ever seen um, the movie, they basically had a lady in the corner that was dressed as like looked like The Woman in Black and what? she was in a pitch black dark corner and she was wearing all black like a wedding dress <clears throat> for a f yeah yeah basically like standard 18th century dress when you were a mourning widow and <clears throat> Although to be fair, I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, and they, she, she, you just couldn't see her. And I could see her, I think, because I was on the left-hand side. And so I think what they did was they made lights kind of blind your eyes so you couldn't really see where the actors were. I feel like Jay got the full front of that, so he couldn't, he, he, excuse, he couldn't actually see her walking towards him, but I could. And I feel bad because I could have said something, but I just walked and waited um <laughs> and then yeah <laughs> yeah it, it was to be fair it was such a good laugh they were brilliant as well none of them came out of that like character um and then like the little scares would get me after that after that woman in black and just every little thing mm -hmm. just kept getting me <laughs> yeah yeah um Oh, what's the time? So we have got breakfast booked at eight thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've got breakfast booked at eight thirty. We actually got an upgrade, which was nice. Um, they pretty much gave us the option to get like when you book the package online, you've got the option to get breakfast in the infinity bar or Costa go and grab Costa. I don't know. Um, anyway, we chose the go and grab because we were like, no, we want breakfast. We want to be on the like, you know, on the run, get to the roller coasters first. I don't want to be sitting around having a full English. Um, but anyway, as fate would say, apparently for some reason they couldn't do the Costa grab and go. So we're going to go and actually have some breakfast, which in hindsight, you know, in hindsight, I don't know. Come to think of it, it's actually a good thing because it means that we're probably going to fill ourselves up be thrown around on a roller coaster but at least we won't have to worry about lunch too much because it's, it's pretty much all you can eat i think i'm not sure but we'll see um <laughs> jay's like are you serious <laughs> um i just know it's free and included in the package but yeah so i think what we're gonna do is make our way up and oh i think actually before we go, the best part of the night was when we went to Burger King. We got taken into the staff quarters because the manager wanted a picture of Harley and Joker <laughs> for his daughter. That yeah. made my night. That was amazing. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to go now. Bye. It's a dinosaur. Run. <laughs> did, you go, did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Megastore? Yeah. Is that that way? God, when everyone's running. <laughs> I think people go a bit crazy when they open the gates because they make you wait for so long. Oh, I see. That is Nemesis. Yeah. Bringing 
That is crazy. Yeah, it's just running. <laughs> So we are hunting to go and find jumpers, a new bag, because I just really wanted the saw bag. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully it will be okay. Ah. When you're tall enough to be able to touch that. So, I think we're definitely going to be going on the Walking Dead ride probably today, but yeah, into the mega store we go. Y'all best be holding the raft as quick as you can. Remember, only six people can ride each raft, and We got the saw match. <laughs> we are matching. <laughs> remain seated at all times. Keep your arms and legs inside the boat. on tidal wave. He's gonna go back to the hut and then come and see me. I didn't want to go on tidal wave because I, as much as I do like water rides, I'm not the biggest fan and I also didn't want to feel like that horrible wetness on the Your ride. attention, please remain seated <clears throat> at all times. But Jay was quite warm and it's sunny Keep and I think arms and the queue time. The boat. Sorry, that guy keeps talking. Um, <laughs> the queue time was quite short, so I think he decided that he wanted to go on the ride. Some more people are going up. And um, Stealth looks like it's open. I currently just got my nest here waiting for Jay. Oh, here he comes, he's running. He's running. Your attention. Please remain seated at all he's times. Running. I'm not getting soaked down there. Like Keep that. your arms and legs inside the <laughs> boat. They have no idea what's going to hit them. Oh no. Your attention. Please remain seated at all times. Keep your arms and... 